try one with you. Do another one. <laughs> so All right. Welcome back to Him and I's Woodworking. We are in a special place today. We are in Crawl Space Craftsman's uh, workshop, which is in a crawl space. Literally underneath my house. And if you guys want to check on how that is built, you can go to uh, Space Craftsman's shop in the description below, <clears throat> and he'll be linked. You can check out all of his different stuff he got going on in there. Actually, actually, that's a new channel of mine. Um, so that one really just has the build, which you actually helped me out with that. So awesome. A lot of the uh, electrical and just the flooring and stuff. It'll kind of show you how we went went through that build. So it's really fun. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up on this channel. Anything that really has to do with, uh, you know, basically woodworking, some uh, minor craft project stuff like that. Just fun stuff too as well. But I'm really excited to get that channel going. So please check it out. Uh, what we're gonna do today is so Billy has built this really awesome toy box. Uh, this is the base part of it. The top is not here because that has nothing to do with what we're gonna be doing. Yep, and I'll do that on the other video. Yeah, that's gonna be a stained, a whole different process. But this right here is something that we're gonna chalk paint this box. We're gonna turn it into a uh, aged, really cool, kind of give it that old look. Something, you know, he just built it, but it's gonna have a look of being you know, 50, 60 years old, if not older than that, by the time we're done with it. So there's really only two things, three things that you need to, to do this besides the paintbrush. Uh, chalk paint, which we are gonna be using folk art, home decor chalk paint. It's uh, Persian gray. I really like this color. They do have another color, it's a gray color. Comes out really dark though, and I just, it has a bluish tint to it, but this Persian gray is just a real pretty gray that uh, I use a lot. So this Persian gray, um, folk art paint it's pretty awesome you got a chip brush uh, nothing fancy I mean you can go out and spend you know 20 30 40 dollars on paint brushes for chalk painting but I don't think that it's necessary I think this chip brush is gonna work just perfect and so this is a two-step process uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to then after we get this chalk painted and probably tomorrow this is gonna to be a two day we're gonna do this today tomorrow when you know we snap the fingers type of thing you know through editing you're gonna see that this will be in about maybe a minute or two but it's really gonna to be tomorrow yep. uh, we're gonna use this Kona Rust-Oleum you can use any stain really but we're gonna use this dark Kona color and what that does is after we're done chalk painting it and getting it nice and you know covered uh, we're gonna go through and we're gonna do a process called glazing we're just gonna paint on the stain and then wipe it off and it's really cool because it'll darken up this this color and all the little grooves and all that little the little hidden spots that you can't wipe it out it looks dark and almost dirty to be honest with you it gives it like a dirty look and the cool thing is it's a toy box so guess what kids are what dirty they're dirty yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be very fitting it's gonna be really awesome we're not doing the inside of the box yep I'll do something else on the inside and uh, probably just paint it a regular color yeah probably just a flat white because there's gonna to be toys and stuff you don't need to go I guess for this project you probably don't need to go on the inside because it's just it, it's not gonna be seen yeah and it's it's not worth getting what you know whatever so uh, pretty much what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint so now my last thing I'm gonna talk about is this is a standard uh, just the natural color we're gonna paint right over top of this there's no priming there's no additional work needed to be done you can do a base coat, which is like a, so a third step, which is doing like a base coat if you want, because we're gonna sand away some of this paint. Uh, if you wanted to see some blues or reds or anything like that, you're gonna wanna paint the base of this, that particular color. In this case, we're not doing that. We're just gonna go the standard color stain and any of that raw wood that we expose from sanding, this stain will actually darken that. So you're gonna see dark streaks like um, distressing, so to speak. So, ready to do some painting? I am. All right, here we go. We're gonna paint away. All right. All right, welcome back. Today we are going to be staining the, uh, the top with a Rust-Oleum dark walnut stain. And the materials we got today, we got an old shirt, that I ripped up and we're going to use that to, to wipe on the stuff and then we're also going to use some gloves 
so we don't have to get our hands all dirty. So first off, I'm gonna grab my air compressor and we're gonna blow this off, get all the dust, any dust that's around it that we might touch. I use this wipe on poly to I have a little bit left and we'll see if that we can get it done with this project. And All right, so I did a uh, light sanding of 320 grit on the top of that and then did a really thin layer of the wipe on poly way less than what I did on the first coat. I just wanted the first coat to be really thick and get it in all those grooves and um, soak up all that stuff. So what I did was just put that lightest of coat on there, just a skimmer, but man, it looks good now. All right, welcome back to day number two on the painting process of the Toy Box build. Uh, we allowed 24 hours for the paint to dry, and now we are on to the next step. Yep. So really easy, all we have to do is, first things we're gonna do is now that this is all dry again, like I said, 24 hours, we're gonna distress the box a little bit and kind of expose some of that wood underneath. Uh, after we do that, we're gonna do a layer of glazing is the process, but we're just gonna use a stain. And by doing some distressing and showing some raw wood and stuff, that stain will darken those areas. So the stain will wipe off of the paint, kind of, and stain pretty much the stuff underneath. So it's really gonna give it a distressed look. And then after we're done with that, we're gonna do a little bit of a sanding again. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. So what we're gonna do is take some 100 grit sandpaper and just kind of go over the whole box. Um, this is some really cheap crap sandpaper. So uh, basically, yeah. <laughs> help the glaze not really st stick it almost like polishes it kind of buffs it out a little bit so because chalk paint's real porous so that'll help out as well all right pretty simple you can do um, you know a lot heavier you could do a lot lighter if you have colors underneath this for instance like if you were to pre-paint it this black it might have showed out a little bit more um, really don't have to because once this stain, like I said, is applied, all of these little edges right here will darken up. Next step, we're going to do the front first. We'll just apply a real thin layer of uh, the um, gel stain and then basically just pull that off with the rag. Cool? All right. So, just going to take a little bit and we're going to start just putting it all over. spots that you know so you don't have to wait for this next step we're gonna get some sandpaper we're not gonna use a hundred grit we're gonna use something a little bit finer uh, 220 I think maybe even 300 and we're just gonna start sanding the same thing there's no specific grain there's no specific direction you need to go we're just gonna start sanding this and that'll light and believe it or not because it's chalk paint it'll kind of powder and it'll bring that out again and awesome. it's going to add another dimension for you and you just want to go light yes we're going to go just scratching it see how that look at that dude i love it i love it so it really just a little bit brings out that okay so now last step is we're going to just take that rag that we wiped off with and we're just going to kind of buff it out a little bit. See that? See how that one I didn't do right there? This side. Boom. Boom. Done. We stained in my garage. 
this is kind of what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. So. Wow. Got a beautiful top. Yep. Stair treads. Solid oak. Oak stair treads, so it's going to open up like this, right? Boom. Done. That turned out good, man. Yeah, I like it. All right, on the next episode, we're going to focus on the inside. So thanks for watching. Nice.